I left a ranting comment on one of Jeremy Johns's. I never ranted on one of his top ten lists. I, if you if you look at the, um, oh, thank you, intoxicated forty seven. If you look at the uh, ten of twenty eleven video that I did, I left I left a. I put a screenshot at the beginning of that video of a comment that I left on Jeremy Johns's top films of 2011 or something. Maybe it was 2011 or 2012. I think it was 2011. And it was just me saying, ha, 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 and that's it. <laughs> that's about all that I did. But now I don't do that shit anymore because I'm less confrontational and I don't hate him as a person and I just, like... I don't, I don't need to write that comment to know that his lists are god-awful. So, <laughs> I just don't do that anymore. I'm allowed to have opinions. He probably thinks my lists are god-awful, right? So. Or maybe he would if he's seen any of the movies on it, but... Where's the bee? <laughs> that sounded super fucking pretentious <laughs> and asshole-ish, but whatever. Where's that bee? Why is there a bee there? Where is that? Oh, Federal Investigation Bureau. Why isn't it not showing? Oh, it's all the way over there. It's only, no, I only consider them shit not because of the movies that are on it, but because I can, like, I can literally predict the whole video before I watch it, and it's not inaccurate in the slightest, you know? Like, you already, it's, it's that they're redundant. Like, you already know exactly what movies are going to be on this list. It, I just, I've always just felt like it serves no actual purpose. But I mean, the same could be said about trailer reviews and trailer reactions. Is they literally serve no other purpose other than to jump on a bandwagon. So, I mean, if that happens on a channel, then why not? Hey, you hit me. Ah! Sounds like I'm a little salty about it, but no, I don't care. I, um... I, I will defend his right to exist as a form of entertainment that I may not be personally entertained by. Will any animated movies be on my top 2014 list? That's a really good question! Fuck, I don't think so. I don't think there's a single anim- No, wait, actually there is. Now I can think of one. Yeah. There is one. 2009 was a great year for stop motion animated movies. There were like three on that list. Oops. Wasn't looking at my map. Um, but 2014. Not a great year for animation, but. A great year for um, documentaries. Um, here's what I'll spoil about my list. There's as many or more documentaries in my 2014 list than there were documentaries in my documentary list. So there's, there's a little spoiler for my 2014 list, if that sounds like an interesting tidbit of information. But that's pretty much all I really want to say. But... <laughs> Inside Out best screenplay. Keck. <laughs> Woo! Out of all of the things that you could say were like... So I'm trying to put myself in the mind of somebody that really loved Inside Out. Out of all of the things you loved about it, do you really sincerely believe that it was like the best screenplay of the year? or in the top five screenplay. Like, any anything you could say about the movie, 
you know? Even if you really, truly loved it and you emotionally connected with it. What was that? That was weird. Um, screenplay. Out of all factors for you to say, like, yeah, this stands out. Screenplay? Really? Really? Do you believe that? People who loved Inside Out, do you honestly believe that? I I can't. Uh, question for the chat. What is your favorite movie that uh, you never would have seen if it weren't for one of my lists? What is your favorite out of those movies that you discovered from my list? Ricky from Ricky! Life. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job uh, in this climate. Hey, you gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. Wait, step outside the room. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, what's up? So apparently in about half an hour, I'm, hey, look at this. Apparently in about half an hour, um, we're gonna go for some food, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with some people for some food, and I'll come back and keep streaming. Quite, quite probably come back and keep streaming. Not a guarantee, but very likely. Um. Shit, I never read your guys' answers to that fucking question because Mark came in interrupted. God damn it. I was interested. <sighs> so Mark's back, but he's hanging out with his family, so. Is there a time we should give up by? Um, if I'm not back in an hour and a half from the time that I, wait, let's say two two hours maximum if I'm not back from the time that I leave, then then I'm not coming back. What am I doing? Funny games in Synecdoche, New York? That's cool. Pandorum? Oh, nice. Yeah, nobody talks about Pandorum. Ever. Because it's not like good or critically acclaimed enough. Uh, Any Charlie Kaufman Dave, or Haneke movie? Dave, it's not good or critically acclaimed friends, enough huh? for people Rolled to still be talking about it. Thing. And a lot Who's of people watch it and just plain boy. don't like it. Good guys, bad guys. But I found good a lot friends. to appreciate about it. Well, I don't know. You tell Dear me. Zachary. You did what you said, right? Got those people off Single your man. Back. Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. Other things. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy. You can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking Baby well boy. So far, haven't you? Uh, right? Steve, I think things are a little unorthodox, uh, but fuck you, orthodox. You 
ruined my career. Ben, 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 oh, ben, are you fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me I'm not going to answer Why? a Game Why? of Thrones related question. Because you don't want me to testify in court. Hi, Pink Gun, yes! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to this seems so speak funny. to Michael to try and explain oh. things to him. Why is Obama this, here? This causes problems for us all. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better like, than that. It's like Obama and uh, L.A. Beast. Uh huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've uh. got you. Anti-American. <laughs> Put your weapons down, all of you. Oh. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. <laughs> I love my country. Put his custom pink down. gun that he paid you. his own sweet money to custom paint. To drive up your funding by any means necessary. I loved making making a murderer. I could I think I could put that on my list. Because it's a mini series, right? Even though there will be a season two apparently. Ow! Oh Obama, no! No! No Obama! I was drinking. I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. That ain't happening. What a way to go. How do I crouch again? Nope. Option? No, fuck! Nope, I just, uh... Win. How do I do this? It has to be there. No? How do I crouch? C? Z? X? Shift? Tab? Q. Q, there we go! I always forget crouch. Awful. This is a public sector dispute. Fuck you. I don't need cover anyway. You're mine. Go to hell. Am I wrong? Or did the shadow war just step into the light? Looks so nice. Pink pink gun man. <laughs> uh, am I looking forward to Nolan's next movie? Yeah, why wouldn't I? I mean, Interstellar wasn't amazing, but I still love Nolan, you know. <clears throat> I don't love him as much as his fanboys love him, but, I mean, he's very undebatably talented. Um. How did that happen? What just happened there where I picked up that gun? What? They made me. Gotcha. I like Doctor Horrible. That was a good movie. Oh, fuck. What year did that get released? If anyone's gonna kill you, old friend. It's gonna be me. Oh. You here to finish the job, team? What year did Dr. Horrible get released? No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Was that like 2008? Because that should have been on my list. That might be a retrospective Touching thing, couldn't it? All, but I'm about to get by a team oh, no, no, no. You got the vantage point. You uh. This is the guy who iced Brad. Hey, ice that me. ain't happened. I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Haynes made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in the position to let our A 
solid. What are you doing? Nothing important? Okay. No, wait. No. Goodbye. Now it's pink! Oh, I call it duty. Uh, I think I have a shit ton of ammo and pink, pink, pink guns. <coughs> Why did I get sick? Oh, I need to record so much dialogue. I hope I don't get sick. I think I'm getting sick. Oh no. Oh no. Not looking forward to this. Oh, the next few days are gonna be hell. As if they weren't already. Hey, cool. that ain't happening. Not automobiles? Oh, fuck, I'm a maze. I'm not even gonna look at it from the they top. Didn't you this shit in the guy <clears throat> this is a cool location. Where am I on the map? Social club? What about map? There we go. Oh, here I am. Yeah, this is interesting. Where am I? The FIB. Oh, I didn't know they had a fucking maze. Probably not that fun. How you doing up there? I'll try it later. First person or whatever. <laughs> would I fuck Ainsley Harriet? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. That'd actually be pretty cool. Don't mind me. I would enjoy that. <laughs> Defend Davy. Damn it! It's not good. Is he dying? He's dead. Okay. I'm the last thing you're ever gonna see. Back off! I didn't do anything from here. There we go. Bye. This is our shot. I'm making a run for the parking lot. Get clear and we'll talk. Grab that son of a bitch. The lot's this way. This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. Mm -hmm. This one's mine. Good luck. Stay safe, D. Get out the way, Jamal. Ah. 
There we so go. Not here. Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. Where's that? The fuck's that? Uh oh. Alright, let's go. Oof. Taking it back. How fast is this Jeep? I don't like it. Oh yeah, slow motion shooting, I forgot, whatever. Woo! I like this one. Shit. Look at this. Oof! Oh! Trying to switch view. If I lose the ele enemy helicopter, you can fuck it up. I'd rather do this than, like, lose it. There we go. There, I lost it. Haha, <laughs> I'm not gonna try and outrun a helicopter. Why am I a, a baby? Some You fuck babies? Some kind of goddamn baby? Ugh. Look at this shit. Oof. I saw the booty. Get back here. Get back here! God damn it! Control. <laughs> not too, not too good on this hill. Fuck yo! These animals seriously just spawn away, like they disappeared because they what got like slightly too far away. Come on! That's gonna run them over. That was bullshit. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, naughty dog. Man, stupid naughty dog always making these GTA games. At least they're not like Rockstar. Ah! I like this car. Too bad I'm <laughs> destroying my chances at ever using it again. Well. Fuck! Fuck! Oh, this man. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, let's go. Ow. Landing on your back hurts so much. Ooh, look at this car! Not this one. Not this one. This one! Ooh, look at this! Hey, lady! Damn. Oh my god! Damn it! <laughs> Woo! She just dropped her coffee. What a bitch. I'm sorry about that. Who cares? Well, that was fun. What that was fun. You doing small? <clears throat> a movie that I disagree with the message it's trying to push, but I still like it as a movie? Yeah, maybe it's got a little something um, in the middle of a three way firefight between two I don't know. agencies. And a private militia. You know, uh, a I think, okay, I think the Holy Mountain is boy. I mean, very spiritual, you know, and I, I'm not a spiritual person, so there you go. 
That's one. Uh, maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship. Holy Mountain is very pro, exactly Dave's fault. pro like no, no, no. spiritualism, and I'm not a spiritual agency. person. So there we go. That, that's that's that's, that's the simplest answer. Corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit. <clears throat> Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What do you mean? That ain't happening. Huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were. I um. Always will be. I just had a thought um, <clears throat> that I think pretty much summarizes my opinions on the idea of um, feminism helping women by evening the playing field, quote unquote. Um, so there's there's an argument by feminists. Um, so for things like income inequality. Um, I guess it's on the, the gender pay gap yes, it is. Call Lester, uh, or any sort of discrepancy uh, between hey, the overall results of men Just and women in any given fact, field or friends, concept, etc., etc. Et cool et <laughs> so to, uh, still go on the there's plenty of instances right, like where women go, do I'll not perform you. as well Remember as men. This, gentlemen. But not for f sexist reasons, not because there's something holding women back, but just simply because either men are more interested in that subject and women are less interested, or um, through just simple biology and DNA, men are much better at physical tasks, physical sports, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the, the argument that some feminists present is that um, it should not be equal opportunity, that it should not be that men and women start out the same, and they'll say it's because uh, since men are so much better at something, or since men earn more, that you should give more money to women so that the final results of men and women are the same. Or that... Um, you know, in that firefighter example that I used earlier, that, oh, because men are going to do better, that you should lower your expectations for women so that both are able to pass at the same rate. Or um, any any sort of example where where uh, a feminist or someone who might not be a feminist, I don't know, any, any example where someone's arguing for not true equality, so meaning... Um, equal results but not equal opportunity and the reason why i'm against that is not because like oh i'm a man and you're a woman or, and not because like i'm deciding teams or something like that is because it it might help a gender in a way but why not achieve the same thing by saying that anybody regardless of gender should be able to benefit from that so what i'm saying is if let's say you lower your expectations for women to be able to um, to become firefighters or lower the standards, then how is that fair to a man who was born in the exact same position as a woman by their, you know, like if you acknowledge that variety exists within the human species, which it does, and you'd have to be ignoring facts to say that it doesn't, you have to acknowledge that there are many men out there who are short, who are skinny, and who, even if they try their very fucking hardest, would never be able to compete with other more dominant, more um, biologically favored men. So there's plenty of men out there that are in the same boat as women when it comes to these inequalities, whether it's um, financial, physical, or societal. Regardless, there are plenty, plenty, huge amounts of men who are in the exact same boat as women. So when you alter the law, or alter your expectations, or alter any kind of requirements for any one of these things, like any one of these subjects, if you were to say like, oh, we're going to make it easier for women to achieve 
x result. So it's not a, a truly even playing field. We're going to boost up women so that they are able to achieve the same results on average. Then what are you doing for the men who were in the same boat as the women that had that issue? What are you doing for those men? Then that's not like, what's the point of a playing field at all? If you're saying that based on your gender, you should get special privileges, right? So if the issue is that people who are not genetically predisposed or um, societally predisposed or otherwise, if that's the real issue and you're saying that there's some level of inequality there, then why not just say, let's lower all expectations for everyone and then men and women who suffer from the exact same issues that you're claiming are important would then in turn benefit from that. If you say, if you say let's, let's lower the bar just for women, then that doesn't really solve the issue that you're pretending to care about. That literally just helps women and nobody else. You made it. Right? Good. I saved you again, It, it disadvantages again. everyone for the, so <laughs> for the for sake of Hanes, advantaging the them, the FIP, which is not IAA, equality, that's supremacy. And everyone else, huh? to, to, make, to make a playing field living, that is not okay? equal, that is not we can even. We most of it on Agent Sanchez. You know? I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back Does that not make sense? The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Wee. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. Hey, Steve. I gotta cozy up to him. Calm him down. Boop. Just get me out. Wake me up. All right, where am I going? Well, I plan on seeing lights out or don't breathe. I will never see lights out, but I would love to see Don't Breathe. That's my answer. Yeehaw! I didn't. It's a lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. No! I'm gonna drown here. I'm gonna die. Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. A lovely day. Does that not make sense though? So if like if let's say if let's say um if let's say oh we need equal representation in a subject or a field. Um if let's say if let's say uh you're talking about sporting events and you're talking about the economic inequality between um, men's sports and women's sports so all relevant factors included men are generally playing a more difficult sport even though it's the same sport you're playing against other dudes so it, it, I heard about um, in tennis how the sets aren't even the same maybe that's just maybe that's complete bullshit I don't want to. I don't want to be spreading misinformation. So, I guess I won't use those those examples because I'm not sure if they're actually true. But um, relevant factors would still exist, like the amount of people that watch a certain sport. Like nobody watches women's basketball. Everybody watches basketball. No one watches women's football. Everybody watches football. You know, like if the amount of money that is being taken in matches up with the amount of money that they're paying out to the performers to the athletes. They don't really see the big issue, but some people see an issue um, because they think yeah, that well, it should not be equal opportunity, diet, but it should be equal results. Diet, extreme paleo. Um, I love my all gluten diet, but the yacht of life is about the journey, so not the destination. So if, if the issue and is really saying like, hungry, okay, men sick over in general side, make X I'm amount more money in this, let's, let's continue well, using sports as an see, analogy. Um, let's say the LA Lakers. I don't know what the women's Please equivalent is. I don't know if it's called the Lakers for women's basketball, and that's part of the problem, isn't it? Is that nobody cares about women's basketball. Um, so let's say, let's say uh, the two main national basketball uh, 
teams, men and women, for LA. They make significantly different paychecks. And because you see two different groups, one men, one women, because you see those two different groups and you see a discrepancy between those groups, a feminist might say that the women's basketball needs to be paid the same amount. Specifically because there is a discrepancy between those groups. But then, by that logic, why not just pay all men's teams the same? Why not Why not pay the the junior teams the same as the national stars why don't you play why don't you pay college football the same as you pay uh the actual nfl team right if the if the issue being presented is i see somebody making more money and i want to be equal then why are you not applying that across the board right and if it shouldn't be applied across the board, then why does it only matter if it's just men and women? Right? If it's truly the same job, then you do get paid the same. That's the law. That's what the law is right now. If, if you have evidence of being paid less for the same job, then please report that person to the authorities. Sue them. Please. Put them in jail. Get them fined. That's illegal and it shouldn't be tolerated. But if you can't prove that you're doing the same job, then what's the issue? <laughs> right? What's the issue? If it's not the same job, what's the issue? Look at, look at, look at the YouTube uh, demographic. Look at the demographic of YouTubers. YouTube is a platform where there is nothing holding anybody back from going on their computer and making a video, making a commentary video, you know, you can just play a game and literally just talk over footage. It's the easiest fucking thing you can do in the world. You can make a video on your fucking iPhone. You can make videos everywhere. And yet, look at the most subscribed YouTubers. Look at Look at the majority of people creating content, not just the most subscribed. Look at look at all of the content creators on YouTube. It's a predominantly male dominated industry. So who are you blaming? Like what is there is there like is there a feminist outcry for discrepancy in YouTube earnings? Is there a feminist outcry for discrepancy in YouTube uh, representation? Because if I'm not mistaken, women make up the majority of the population, and YouTubers are famous based on how many subscribers they have. If I'm not mistaken, it is completely within the will of the people to decide who is going to be a popular YouTuber and who isn't going to be a popular YouTuber. If I'm not mistaken, it is completely within your own free will to decide whether or not you want to become a YouTuber, and whether or not you're going to invest your time into being a YouTuber, how much effort you put into being a YouTuber, what the quality of your content is. If I'm not mistaken, there's literally nothing holding you back, and yet there is a gigantic gender discrepancy. Why is that? Could it possibly be that men and women have different interests? Nope, sexism. Obviously. Oh, he's taking a picture of me. <sighs> It's, it's fucking, it's the conversation, you know, like it, it's been forced into all of our lives at this point. And the end result of the conversation, on, after man. you think about it, doesn't man. support what the people who wanted to have the conversation were trying to get across. And that's why it's frustrating. That's why it's so fucking frustrating and ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, like look at, look at film reviewers. How many, how many, how many um, female YouTube film critics can you name? Grace Randolph, the girl who is on What the Flick, who wasn't really a YouTube uh, uh, film critic in the first place, but is by proxy because she was she's a part of that TYT thing. Like she was a film critic in her own sense, like she was an actual film critic. Even look at actual film critics. Look at published film critics. If you look at published film critics, predominantly male, right? overwhelmingly male and in terms of publishing a feminist might say like oh yeah whoever hired them hates women and they they don't want women to be hired and they know that women won't sell blah 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 
But what about YouTube? Why is there a gap? Why is there a gap in, in, in film criticism on YouTube? Let's ignore how, how the most subscribed film critics on YouTube look. Let's completely take that out of the equation and just look at how many people are actively trying to do film criticism on YouTube. Because I know of a shit ton, a shit ton of, of male film critics that nobody knows about that are just making their videos because that's their passion, right? I know of barely any female film critics on YouTube. There's literally nothing holding, holding you back. Nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. Could it be that men and women have different interests on average? Statistically, but not abso in, in absolute. Without making absolute statements, could it be at all possible that on average men are interested in concepts like film criticism more often than women are? Nope, sexism. Obviously sexism. Man, there's such a gap in the STEM fields, but... Instead of, instead of getting a, a degree in the STEM fields, I chose uh, gender studies. And now I'm going to complain about it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so stupid. This conversation is just so fucking awful. Awful, awful, awful. They're shooting themselves in the foot. Making people just, like, be anti-feminist. They're turning people into anti-feminists. Anti-feminism is growing because of their inability to point out real, objective sexism. And their complete arrogance and misinformation when it comes to pretending there's sexism where there isn't. It is turning people into anti-feminism. It's fucked up. It's seriously fucked up. I don't want to be anti-feminist. I don't want that to be something that I am. Let me in. Get me in here. Oh, there I am. Oh, fuck it up. Hit the bong. I think people do care about claiming racism where, where there isn't also. But I think that racism is more legitimate of an issue in in Western America than sexism is. I can't stay. What's up, babe? Because debatably women are treated like fucking princesses and are able to stroll through their lives with training wheels. That's a that's a perspective. And, I mean, it's it's just as legitimate as saying women are oppressed in America. You know, there's some truth to either side of that. But apparently one of those one, one of those statements is super fucking offensive. I'm waiting for them to knock on my door and tell me that they're ready to go for dinner, so... Man, that shit is old. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you it is uh, 9.45 p.m. for me. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Uh, Flipper D. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's the case. Because then, by that logic, then wouldn't any not 
traditionally attractive women on YouTube be able to get attention for their opinions in the same way that uh, Franklin, what's up? men hey, are? You know? I mean, like, I'm just wondering, like, where are the women film on YouTube? I, I, I see two of them. And I have a subreddit. You know, my own subreddit where uh, one of the rules is that anybody is free to post their own uh, film reviews if they want to get some exposure and want to see how people on the subreddit take it. And I check there all the fucking time. Not once, never have I seen someone post a film review of their own or of anyone else's that is made by a woman. It, in the hills, most likely, it just seems like something that most women are not interested in doing. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me Like, if we're, if we're gonna use the argument, okay, let's use this argument. Of, like, okay, let's say, let's say you want to say, oh yeah, it's because women feel as though because they're oppressed or not respected in society that they wouldn't be able to have a voice on the internet and that's why they're not doing it. What about gay people? Gay people are more oppressed than women. I'm a gay dude. There's some people who are undoubtedly gay. There's some people who can't hide it at all. They're the gayest fucking voice in the world and still do this shit. Gay people, there's no discrepancy of like gay people on YouTube doing shit. You know, like, wouldn't that same logic apply? There's, there's things about men that are unflattering that I accept. Men are genetically predisposed to being dude bro aggressive assholes with rage issues. And I don't consider myself to be one of those men, but I mean, that's a predominantly male issue right there. And I'm not, just because that, just because like, I'm a man doesn't mean that I'm gonna be like, oh no, that's not true ignore it and just lie to myself about it you know like we have differences based on our gender based on our dna etc etc and you know you can either love yourself for who you are or you can lie to yourself and pretend you're something you're not i've very much accepted my own my own flaws quite a long time ago. I don't like being a fur fag, but whatever. I'm gonna live my life. Drops? What's drops? Harambe? Oh god, stop this meme! I don't like it. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> Add him on TED Talk. Yeah, that wouldn't happen. Who knows, it could. Like, we're talking about, like, furries or some shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, got him. Are you like the Ty Lopez? Why? Is straight. I must. I swear to God, I fake ass niggas. My down, I mean, smash off in that porch like Scott. My nigga smoke push, no pot. That push got a push, I know. This is bad music. I'm a six figure nigga, your account, no 
Her really? Really? That killed me? God damn it. I like how the same song is playing in my house right now. Where's my car? Dude, where's my where's your car, dude? Oh, that didn't work. Franklin, what's up? Hey man, I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ball. Could you like do some bad. computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. Computer I'm magic. Door into the ah! Ah! Oh, that noise. That was great. That was awesome. Look at like math. You know, look at anything. There's some there's some fields that are like completely dominated by women too. I don't have an issue with that. I'm not offended. Come on. Could you imagine if I, as a gay dude, was like, how come these, how come all these is dominated by straight people? Could you imagine how obnoxious that would be if I did that? Why does it matter? Fuck. You're an individual, right? If you want to do something, do something. If you feel like something's holding you back, then fight against that. But don't start to speak for everybody from your gender. Don't start to speak from, for everybody from your sexuality. You know? I can talk about fucking blood donation discrimination because I'm personally not allowed to donate blood for no reason, even if you test my blood and it's completely free of HIV, even if I haven't had sex and like the entire time at which you can actually detect HIV. Like, what, six months hibernation? Even if I haven't had sex for like six months. Even though we have tests that can detect HIV within literally 10 days. At this point, if you read an article that says otherwise, it's not up to date. Because I get tested. Even when I don't need to. Because I'm fucking safe. I can talk about that because that affects me personally. But when you're like, when you're complaining about female representation in a certain field that you have never attempted to even join, like really? Let me think. Let, like, let me let me think of something where there's like a disproportionate amount of like gay dudes. You know, where there's a disproportionate amount of straight dudes compared to gay. Dudes. Let, let me think of something. Like, some dude bro kind of activity, let's take... Uh-oh, that's the door. Come in! Yeah, I'll end it now. Okay guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the stream for now. Um, I will catch you later. If I'm not back within two hours, then that means I'm not coming back the whole night. So, uh, thank you for the stream. I might come back, I might not, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go for some food. I, I don't know, I'm starting to feel a little tired, so I'm kind of leaning towards not, but like I said, two hours from now, that'll be midnight Pacific time. If I'm not back by then, then I'm not coming back. Um, and I'll see you guys next week instead. Uh, but yeah, thank you, that was awesome. I enjoyed the stream. Uh, peace out. Uh, goodbye, thank you so much. Goodbye, bye, bye.